Important start, Jeff, today for Tucker Davidson. Yeah, he had two starts so far completely different. First one in Milwaukee, I thought he was on the attack. He was pounding the strike zone. He was all right there. And then last week, what, seven, three, two counts. So for him, it's easy. You got to tunnel. You got to throw strikes and let your off speed go to work after you get ahead. And there's that change of speed. Birdie had that scouted out. Tucker Davidson strikes out the Marlins leadoff man. One man down. Lifted toward right, curling toward the stands. Adam Duvall is there. He makes the grab. And that's the second out. And he swings and misses. Very impressive start for Tucker Davidson. His off-speed stuff looks crisp. A couple of strikeouts. Check out Sandy Alcantara, <laughs> huh? Making his 10th start, coming off his fourth career complete game. It was against these Braves on Sunday afternoon. Payoff pitch to Acuna Jr. Did he go? He did. So that's a strikeout. Bounce to Wendell, goes to Astudio, turns it to first, and it's a double play. Sandy gets the 5-4-3 DP. Chopper on the first pitch, and Astudio, miscommunication, riding down the line, and safe. That, that, that ball hit the edge of the grass and dirt and just went straight down. There's a swing and a miss. And Olsen down on strikes. That's the second strikeout this afternoon for Sandy. One away. 95, 98 percentile range. Bouncer towards short. Marlins get out of the inning after the ball hit the lip. When we come back, we'll talk with Ryan Spader on advanced Saturday next. And another chance for Harris gliding to his right. Nothing tough about that play for Michael. And on one pitch, Brian De La Cruz is retired to start the Miami third. On the ground by Astudio. And Dansby loads up and takes care of Williams. And that's out number two. Love the efficiency with which Tucker Davidson's working. Riley handles a line drive at the line. And that will retire Garrett Cooper, who is 0-4-2. 3-2 payoff pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a slider. And here we go. Michael Harris about to make his major league debut as an Atlanta Brave hitter. And the big crowd will welcome him. Mom and dad are here. The whole family is here from Metro Atlanta. Braves number one rated prospect. To hit 305, 33 runs, 33 RBIs at double A Mississippi. Here's the one two pitch to Harris, and he swings and misses strike three. And Harris is down on four pitches in his first at bat in the big league. Five strikeouts, the First time through the order for Alcantara. He got Ronald to start the day on a check swing. Pitch. It got him. And Acuna gets hit up and in. And you know the history between Acuna and the Marlins. Alcantara wasn't trying to do that. Obviously, it got away. And Ronald walking very slowly on the infield grass and out toward first base. Those of us that have watched enough Marlins and, and Braves games know that there's certainly a history between these two, uh, whether they be purpose pitches or not. Throw over to first base, they just picked off Acuna. Oh, he got caught with his pants down over at first. He took three or four steps off the bag. He wasn't looking at Sandy. That's a marvelous job by Alcantara. Got the youngster on the ropes, four walks here with two batters into the fourth inning. On a hop to Swanson, he sticks with it, but couldn't get out of his glove, and the Marlins will have the bases loaded. Well, that kind of handcuffed him there on a late hop. Couldn't get a grip on it, so, yeah, now the Marlins definitely in business. Bases loaded, nobody out. Well, he might have the sticky stuff on his hand. Who knows? So the bases are loaded, no one out. And here's Joey Wendell. This one out to center field. Should get the job done. Solaire tags. Harris makes the catch. And it's a sacrifice fly for Joey Wendell. So the Marlins get one. So we'll leave it to Wendell for some good situational hitting there. Marlins get a run on an out. No less. The 2-2 pitch is in there. Called strike three. Slide piece. Wow. Three balls and two strikes here on Matt Olson leading off the bottom of the fifth inning. Sandy deals. And at 100 miles an hour gets the strikeout of Matt Olson. 1-2 pitch to Albies. Alcantara out of the windup. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him. That's three consecutive strikeouts for Sandy Alcantara. On the 2-2 pitch is swung on and missed strike three. Got him with a slider. Sandy went sinker in four sliders, and he strike out, and he strikes out the side. Here's Rojas. He is 0 for 2. 
Miggy out toward left field sends Ozuna back near the wall and it carries out for a solo home run. Clears the left field wall and gives the Marlins a two to nothing lead. A beautiful thing to see and more than anything Paul you give Sandy Alcantara a little bit of breathing room right there with two run lead. Pitch to Duvall is in there, called strike three. Caught him with a sinker at 99. Well, he's already blown by his game high in strikeouts for a season. That was set against the Braves last time out with seven. His career high is 14. So then Michael Harris up for the second time as a big leaguer. And there's the first there big league hit. There we go. Hopefully the first to 3,000. How nice is that? Going the other way. I'll tell you what, you learn that quick at a young age when you're facing a guy like Alcantara. Oh, try to pull that ball. And first pitch to flex off Alcantara and into center field to hit. Harris around second. He's going to fly to third. We got action here in the Atlanta sixth. You know, that was kind of, at first, it was a bad break because it hit off his glove. It was going to go through, and then it became a good break because of where he tipped it. Let's see if Dansby can make some contact and at least bring home one run. On the ground, that'll score a run. Dansby put it in play. Acuna's going to streak across to third, and he's in safely. RBI number 24 for Swanson. Harris scores his first big league run. It's a 2-1 game. Off the deal. He doesn't strike out all that often. And he lifts a shallow fly ball into left field and it's down for another base hit for like Williams you. Astadio. And now once again the Marlins have a little something cooking here in the seventh inning. Here's the 3-2 pitch. Cooper hammers one. Left center field into the gap. Harris going back. Looking up. It's off the bottom of the wall. Astadio scores. Here comes Birdie. A throw comes in. It's cut off by Albies. It's a two-run double for Garrett Cooper. Miami extends its lead. It's 4-1 here in the seventh. Oh, no. He's going with the hard stuff. And it works at 100 miles an hour. Sandy ties a career high 14 strikeouts. Wow, Sandy locked in today. And that will bring up Riley as the tying run here with two outs in the ninth. Two on, two out, bottom nine. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. Ball game over. And the Martlets tie this series at one apiece. That was a dicey bottom half of the ninth inning for Cole Sulcer, but he gets the job done and he locks up his second save of the season for the Marlins.